Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's staying safe out there. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. We do subscriber prize vlogs from time to time and we have one going on right now. That's right, you have until December 23rd to enter. So after you watch this vlog, make sure you go back, check out the prize vlog and we'll tell you how to enter. Good luck everybody. So in continuing talking about free agents this off season, I thought we could talk about one of my favorite players, and that's nobody else than Mr. J.A. Happ. Now, a little bit about Happ, if you don't know, he's going to be 38 years old going into next season, and he spent last year with the Yankees, and to say it didn't go well is a huge understatement. He is P.O.'d, and a lot of this has to do with the contract. If you don't know, he was traded uh, from the Blue Jays, actually, over to the Yankees. The Yankees signed him to an additional contract. And that contract had an option for this year coming up that would have paid Hap $17 million. In order for him to get that $17 million, all he had to do was make an X amount of starts or innings pitched. And he didn't make that last year. And Hap strongly believes that he was the limited starts or innings pitched from the Yankees organization. So that $17 million option didn't kick in. And I actually believe there is a little bit of truth to this. So... As I said before, Hap is just massively upset. This probably cost him about $10 million. And the reason why he's so upset is based on how he actually pitched in 2020, which was pretty good. In 2020, if you look at his stats, even though he was dealing with injuries, he still went two for two, had a 3.47 ERA, 49 innings pitched, and a 1.2 war. In fact, he had the best ERA on the Yankees rotation other than Cole. 2019, 12 and 8, a 4.91 uh, ERA, 161 innings pitched, and a 1.4 war. In 2018, even better. He went 17 and 6 between the two organizations, an ERA of 3.65, 177 innings pitched, and a 1.6 war. So there's no question that this guy can pitch. I know he's 38 years old, so a lot of teams might be wondering, is he going to be held up for next season? Is he going to have injuries? But if you're a rebounding team, a team that's in that rebuild mode, this is somebody that you want to sign. He's going to be able to eat up innings probably for you and get you some decent starts. And what are the teams that are rebuilding that could be in on him? Well, I know the Jays, and they're not a rebuilding team. There was some rumors connected to him. But then we went out and signed Robbie Ray to that $8 million deal. Personally, for me, I would have taken Hap, even at 38 years old, for $6 million over Robbie Ray. But what do I know? But the three teams that have been sniffing at Hap have been the Boston Red Sox, the Texas Rangers, and the Baltimore Orioles. All rebuilding teams, so this is a good opportunity for Hap to go in and have another year, maybe two, before he retires. But it's definitely going to be a one-year contract, probably around $6 million. And I hope he does get signed by a team in the American League. Because, hey, for me, it would be worth the $6 million just to see him play the Yankees and see how that plays out. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Stay safe, everybody. We'll talk soon.